first alert weather. Let's look at Jackson right now. We got those nice conditions out around 80 degrees and sunny outside. We get a little breeze at 15 miles per hour too. We got the sunshine working out and around. At least for Jackson, it looks like we're staying clear of most of the haze outside, which is nice. Most of that's getting kept towards the southern highlands in southeastern Idaho. We'll check that out right now. Here's a look at the Viper gas smoke. Most of it trailing off, not from Utah, so to speak, but actually from our further neighbor in uh, California. Most of those northern California fires picking that up, getting the southwesterly flow straight into the region. But it looks like, again, most of that trailing off is just off to the south and east part of the state and a little bit into western Wyoming, too. But the good news, at least the Vipercast smoke, is that we'll change direction here with the wind tonight, and that's going to actually help out the haze, drop that off farther to the south to Utah and keep it down there, at least heading into the day for tomorrow and hopefully for Tuesday as well. As tomorrow we'll look for calmer winds and a little bit of a breeze from the north to maintain those cooler temperatures in the 80s. Right now, live look at the Viper Raider. We've got a high pressure just off to the south and east. I feel like I've been saying that honestly for the past week now almost to where we have dry conditions here locally. We do have some wet weather off to our north neighbor in Montana once again. Uh, just off to the north of Continental Divide and north of Island Park, but these, we'll notice the trajectory of most of these showers are moving farther east and not into the regions. That high is going to keep its influence over us, not only heading into tonight, but heading in for the next couple of days, too. You see in the Vipercast, even in the next few hours, you see most of those showers go further out east into the state of Montana. That leaves us nice and comfortable heading into the day tomorrow and into Tuesday as well before we got something interesting coming for the end of Tuesday. It's going to build a lot of cloud cover and potentially some rain chances. Let's look at the pattern heading into Wednesday where we're looking at that. I got some rain showers heading for us on Wednesday afternoon. You see that high pressure still there, but overall the ridge is going to look to slowly die down heading into the middle of the week. And we got some rain showers coming with this low that's going to move on shore heading into the middle of the week. It's not only going to bring rain chances for us on Wednesday, but also in to Thursday as well, heading into our work week. Tomorrow, highs similar to that of today, 90 in Preston, 84 in Lava Hot Springs. Calmer winds, winds from the north, not the south is going to help us out too. 85 in Swan Valley, 79 in Island Park. In central Idaho, 87 tomorrow in Salmon, 83 in Ketchum, and 84 out towards Arco. Lastly, Snicker or Blaine's get those highs in the mid-80s, 87 for Idaho Falls, 90 in Pocatello. Highs similar to that of today, and enjoy those highs while they last. Look at Tuesday. We're back up to the mid-90s for Tuesday, and we're going to stick with the mid-90s throughout the rest of the work week. There are those isolated 10% rain chances continuing throughout the week. In Rexburg, 85 degrees. Tomorrow we get to the lower 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and continuing on throughout the rest of the week. Get those slight rain chances building in for Wednesday and Thursday. In Jackson, a little bit greater rain chances, 30% for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's after two dry days tomorrow, though, and highs of 83 and 89. In Salmon, 87 degrees, up to the mid to upper 90s, though, for the rest of the work week. We get that 20% rain chance on Wednesday. And then sticking with uh, Pocatello up to 90 degrees tomorrow, up to the upper 90s. Might even break triple digits this week, my goodness, and maybe some record highs. It's going to be one of those weeks. Windy conditions return on Wednesday and Thursday. Lastly, Idaho Falls, 87 degrees, up to the mid-90s for Wednesday and Thursday. And that will continue on even into next weekend. The hope is that some of these slight rain chances can help out our drought just a little bit heading into the work week. Send it over to Linda.